Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and on today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this wrap dress that I'm wearing here. So if you watched my previous uh, fabric haul video which I will link somewhere up here so you guys can check it out if you haven't. I mentioned that I was going to use this fabric for a button down dress so I ended up changing my mind and decided to use it for the wrap dress only because the crepe fabric that I wanted to use for this uh, dress turned out to be like way too sheer and I didn't want to line it I didn't want it to be like heavy I wanted it to be like light and airy but this viscose actually end up working perfectly for this dress so for the pattern that I use for this dress I use the oh mother mine DIY pattern which I will link it in the description box below but I end up changing quite a lot of things so literally like every piece of pattern I end up adding some more measurements because I cut out medium which is 44 I think it's 42 40, 42 to 44 Spain sizes uh, because they're in Madrid but then it translates I think into like 12 10 12 US but it was way too small so like enough I made a mock-up first it was way too small it was way too short I couldn't even like wrap it around like everything was just like exposed so I decided to just go and grade it but I didn't choose like the proper grading methods this is this was just my way of increasing the size so what I did was just to add like an inch everywhere I could and for the tops because I wanted to do like this butterfly sleeves I had to add in the shoulders and the and increase the arm hole so to make this I just took out my bodice block that I made using a tutorial that I learned from um, Priscilla her YouTube channel is conveyed I'll also link that video if you want to learn how to make your basic uh, bodice block so that's what I used to make the top but I use I transferred the same dust that she had and they actually like sitting well right here on my boobies. And for the sleeves, I made like butterfly sleeves. And these are basically like a circle skirt for my arm haul. And yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. This is the original skirt. This is my skirt. I'm not sure if you can see the lines, but this is how small it was so what i did was i added an inch on the waist i added an inch on the side i added inch on the side and the bottom and also like seam allowance and this is the front of the skirt so what i did again was to add an inch around and also add seam allowance like one centimeter seam allowance all the way around for the front pieces this is where i made a lot of changes so in order to include sleeves i had to draw out like the shoulder and finish the armhole so everything else is kind of like the same size here i also transferred the same dart i added an inch here and seam allowance this pattern doesn't come with seam allowance by the way so that's why i also added seam allowance so i just transferred everything from my body's block and i just made like a straight line here to connect everything and i added like an extra five inches on the sides to make it longer because i don't want like my boobs to be popping out here and for the back as well i added the neckline i inc i increased the armhole so everything is the same i added an inch down here and seam allowance and also seam allowance on the side since i am doing sleeves i went with this butterfly sleeve so this is actually just like a one circle skirt and i made it about eight and a half inches and then for my armhole i made it into one half of the sleeve so that it can like balance well
So I am done cutting everything. Now it's time to go ahead and start sewing. So I'm going to start with the front pieces. I'm going to uh, work on the darts. I already marked them with the chalk here and here. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch the darts together. So I'm done with the darts. I also pressed them down and they are laying flat here. So now I'm going to stitch together the two front pieces to the back piece with right sides facing. So I'm gonna stitch on the sides and also on the shoulders. So now I'm going to attach the sleeves but before I do that I'm going to open them first here on both of them. I'm gonna go ahead and hem around and then once I'm done hemming I'll go ahead and attach them to the bodice piece. I made a notch here in the middle just to know where the middle is so I'm gonna start pinning it to the top so matching the notch to the shoulder seam here So now I'm done pinning the sleeves on, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch them on and also close the bottom here. So now I'm going to work on the skirt pieces. I've already pinned together all three pieces. So we have two front pieces and the back piece. So everything is pinned together with right sides facing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch there and stitch there. So now that I'm done with the skirt, I'm going to work on the ruffles. So I've already pinned together all three pieces. So I have one piece here. I have the back piece here and the other front piece here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hem them first. Here I'm just gonna do like a roll hem. And then once I'm done with that, I will press them first and then go ahead and gather the top here before I can pin them to the skirt.
so I just finished pinning on all the ruffles all the way around and I did left about like one centimeters on the top here so I can be able to attach the body's part also here so now I'm gonna go ahead and stitch everything and also finish everything with a zigzag stitch before attaching the bodies to the skirt So here is the skirt. I am done with the ruffles. I stitched all of them all the way around and I also did like a top stitch so that they can stay flat. So now I'm going to attach the top to the skirt. So first I'm going to pin everything together, matching all the side seams first. So now I'm gonna go and stitch everything together and also finish with like a zigzag stitch. So before I go ahead and finish the neckline, I'm going to attach the belt. I have two of them here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold them in half, stitch, and then turn them right side out, and then go ahead and pin them to the dress before I can finish the neckline. So next I am going to attach the belt. So I'm just gonna pin them here on this spot here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch them on like this on the right side. Also the other one the same way. So I'm gonna stitch them right here and right here. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna finish the neckline with this bias strip that I did cut off and joined about two pieces here. So I'm gonna do the whole entire neckline with this bias tape.
So I have the dress complete here. This is how it looks. This is the bottom. I love, I love, love, love the ruffles. And this is the other side. So it wraps like this. And here is the top. I actually really, really love these sleeves. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.